Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rogers at Performance Medicine, coming to you with a weekly podcast. Today I want to talk about another one of the vitamins that I really like. As you know, I'm really into vitamins because I think they're essential. It's In fact, it's the most important part of my food pyramid is your vitamins and supplements. So I became interested in looking deeper into vitamin B1, thiamine, uh, recently because it's really good treatment for COVID-19 when you're really ill with COVID-19. Uh, in the hospital, you should beg for a shot of thiamine. I remember when I was a resident back in the day, 35 years ago, we used to use a lot of uh, IV and IM thiamine when we'd get an alcoholic that came into the ER um, that had a, a lot of problems. These were chronic alcoholics that hadn't eaten for days. And they developed this thing called Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome. That's a hard name, isn't it? Haven't heard of that in a while, have you? But it's almost like a dementia. I mean, these people are out of their heads. And the people that get it, it turns out, are severe alcoholics who haven't eaten anything for days. Um, but also people that are on a very poor diet. Uh, maybe even a few people that had a gastric bypass and they didn't absorb vitamin B1, which is essential for nerves and heart. Um, they discovered it over 100 years ago, um, and they called it by a disease called beriberi, if you can dig that one out of your medical school books. But um, beriberi, B-E-R-I, um, is a condition caused by extreme lack of vitamin B1. Um, and it was discovered in these sailors that were just eating white rice. It had no grains in it, no nutritional value, just white rice. And it turns out that this crazy syndrome they got of um, neuropathy, muscular weakness, incoordination, swelling, heart failure, was caused by uh, the vitamin B1 deficiency. Uh, some brilliant scientist over 100 years ago discovered this. So, you know, as the, the B vitamins are some of my favorite because they're responsible for energy and also regulating your immune system, which is important right now, especially with COVID-19. So I started looking into it a lot more, and now it's definitely on my recommended vitamin list for uh, people that have neuropathy. Uh, which we'll talk about in a minute, and even um, people going down the tubes in the unit with COVID-19. Um, it really can reverse them pretty quickly because they get really deficient in vitamin B1 as well as a lot of other vitamins. But the, it's a weird syndrome that it causes. Now, as you know, I'm interested in diabetes. Two of my kids have it. Thousands of my patients have had it through the years of my practice. And I'm really interested in metabolic syndrome. And certainly there's so many million diabetics out there that know it and millions more that don't even know they have diabetes. You know, if you're pretty much, if you're overweight, you're either a type 2 diabetic or you're going to be. So one of the things, one of the complications of diabetes is something called neuropathy. And that's where your nerves, especially in your feet and hands, start to tingle, get numb, they actually even hurt. That kind of nerve pain is a bad kind of pain if you've ever experienced peripheral neuropathies. So it's not only your, uh, your heart and your kidneys and your eyes that diabetics have to worry about. It's your peripheral nerves as well. And it can be one of the most troublesome and bothering aspects of being a diabetic. Um, so, you know, and it's common too. I mean, having diabetic neuropathy is very common, especially in type 2 diabetics who are, have poor control of their diabetes. Um, very, very common. So it turns out that vitamin B1 or thiamine is a precursor to an enzyme called TPP. And it's required for glucose metabolism. That's how it's related to diabetes. Um, what it does is help prevent glycation. Um, think of glycation as when sugar is added to a fat or a protein, and you get almost this browning effect. Think of a, putting barbecue sauce 
on pork and gr putting it on the grill. You know how it gets brown uh, and you can caramelize onions and uh, things like that. It makes it makes it taste sweeter. But what that's not good when it happens to your body because when it happens in, in your body, uh, too much of this sugar combined with protein and fats, um, it can cause this thing called advanced glycation end products. And these things are very harmful to both your macro and microvasculature. So it really increases your risk of um, artery disease, heart disease, and peripheral artery disease, and certainly neuropathy because it causes endothelial damage. Remember, the endothelium is the lining of your blood vessels. Um, so here's the deal with vitamin B1 or thiamine. It's, you know, it's a water-soluble vitamin, so it's not really too bioavailable. So it turns out there's a synthetic form that they make that's kind of lipophilic. They make it uh, carried in by a fat molecule, and um, it's more stable. It's really probably the only synthetic vitamin that, that I really like, but this it's 120 times more active than the natural form of uh, vitamin B1. It gets into your nerves better. Um, and it's called benfotamine. Benfotamine. Remember, that's the form of vitamin B1 or thiamine that you want. Um, it's a lot more bioavailable. In fact, I think every diabetic should be taking it. Um, and anybody with a peripheral neuropathy uh, should be taking this stuff. Um, Combined with vitamin B6 and B12, it's the perfect triad to combat peripheral neuropathy. So you probably ought to try that before you get on something like gabapentin or Lyrica or even some of the antidepressants that sometimes we have to treat diabetic neuropathy with. So the thing about, um, of course, with B12, you want methyl B12. Um, and with B6, it's interesting because if you get too much B6, it can cause more neuropathy. So you need vitamin B6, but you ought to limit it to, to about 100, maybe 200 milligrams, um, or it may make neuropathy even worse. So uh, benfotidine, which is B1, the, the active form of thiamine, uh, limited B6, and methyl B12. Um, other vitamins that can help neuropathy are uh, ALA, curcumin, fish oil, and NAC. You know, NAC seems to be coming back around and around again. NAC's just so super, it's unbelievable. Uh, and also L-carnitine, but be careful with L-carnitine because if you have increased dose, of, dose or blood levels of TMAO, which we'll talk about in another podcast, but it's a marker for heart disease and inflammation. And if you take more L-carnitine um, or even choline, and you already have increased TMAO levels, um, which is actually controlled by your gut bacteria, it gets kind of complex. But So don't just throw yourself on L-carnitine is what I'm saying. Um, check your TMAO levels. We do that in the office all the time. Um, and there's some things you can do about it. My level, when I first checked, it was kind of high, and I limited my consumption of red meat because of that. And as a matter of fact, it, that may be a more common route of red meat consumption causing heart disease and cholesterol because uh, cholesterol really doesn't cause heart disease as much as people think it does. Um, it's the form and size of the particles which gets complex. Um, so look out for these things, you know. Uh, so take, you know, take everything with a grain of salt. And by the way, salt does not cause high blood pressure in most people. In at least 80% of people, you need more salt, preferably sea salt. Um, so take that with a grain of salt again. But um, So I'm very interested in vitamins. I'm interested in treating diabetes. I'm certainly interested in vitamin B1, thiamine. It's a very fascinating uh, vitamin, so essential. And, you know, it, when you get to the Wernicke, Korsakoff, and Beriberi, those are rare diseases. But peripheral neuropathy is not a rare disease. It's very common, and this is very, very helpful to uh, combat that painful numbness. It's almost like they, people described it as P1 
pins and needles in your hands and feet. But certainly thiamine deficiencies can also cause heart problems as well. So think about thiamine, uh, especially if you're diabetic or have peripheral neuropathy or, you know, it's one of the essential uh, vitamins that I use certainly for COVID um, along with just a, a B-complex vitamin, which does have thiamine in it. But you, if you need the higher doses, uh, think about benfotamine, um, which is the active, very good form of vitamin B1 thiamine. So I hope this is interesting to you. Um, next week we'll talk about maybe another vitamin that's very essential and, and you need. It's Dr. Tom Rogers. I'll see you next week. Mm-hmm.